Servus everyone and welcome to this video in which I will flash the BIOS of the Asus P55 T2 P4. The BIOS is a piece of software that resides on a chip on the motherboard. It is responsible to initialize the system when it is powered on. The BIOS will then hand over control to the operating system, while still providing runtime services. As it is a piece of software, it may not be free of bugs. The manufacturer may also add new features after the motherboard was released, for instance to support a new family of processors. So far I have encountered two issues with the current version of the BIOS. First, the motherboard only detects hard drives up to 8.5GB. Anything larger cannot be initialized properly. I had to use Easy Drive to be able to use a hard drive with 80GB. Second, one of the benchmark tools reported that the motherboard suffers from the Y2K bug. Maybe with the BIOS update we can fix those issues. Let's figure out what BIOS version is currently installed. There are multiple ways to do this. The easiest way is to examine the boot screen and look for version numbers. Another possibility would be to use a tool such as CPU-C. Under the mainboard tab is some information about the BIOS. Unfortunately, for this particular BIOS, no version information is displayed. So let's go back and analyze the boot screen. We can see a version number here, there is some kind of a number here, there is another number here and at the bottom is a date, September 2nd, 1996. We have four possibilities. We cannot say for sure what version the BIOS has. A quick internet search directs us to the ASUS website. And believe it or not, the ASUS P55 T2 P4 has a support page with the latest two BIOS versions. ASUS mentions the release date as well as the version numbers. The two versions listed here are 0205 and 0207. It looks like our BIOS version is 0107. Unfortunately, this version is not available on the official support page. After some further digging, I found an extended list of BIOS versions for this motherboard. And here we can see version 0107 is listed. There were quite a number of updates released. The latest official version, version 0207, seems to fix the Y2K bug. During the research I also came across this resource, where you can download modded BIOS versions of older motherboards. There is a modded BIOS version available for the Asus P55 T2 P4. It is based on the last official version released by Asus. The BIOS not only adds additional support for newer processors, it also adds support for hard drives with a capacity of up to 128GB. This will fix the hard drive issue and make Easy Drive redundant. So, it's time for an update. To perform an update we also require a tool that is capable of flashing the BIOS chip. I decided to use a utility called UniFlash. It was successfully tested and claims to support the motherboard. You can get more details of the supported hardware from the readme file. Before you proceed, you should always consult the manual for any hints on how to update the BIOS. There is a small section in the manual that tells us that we have to set a jumper on the motherboard to be able to write to the BIOS chip. If you forget this crucial step, your BIOS update may not succeed, or worse, you could damage your motherboard. Armed with a modded BIOS, UniFlash and a working floppy disk, we can finally start the process of flashing the BIOS. First, we need to create a bootable floppy disk. You can do this under DOS with the command format A forward slash S. The floppy disk is being formatted and the required system files are copied to make it bootable. Copy UniFlash and the BIOS update file to the disk as well. Restart the PC and load the BIOS defaults but make sure that the system boots from the floppy drive. With the prepared floppy disk inserted, save the changes in the BIOS and let it restart. Once you see the command prompt, start UniFlash. Now we can update the BIOS. You need to type the file name of the new BIOS and the process begins. Looks like flashing the BIOS was successful. 
Unfortunately, there is no guarantee that the system will actually boot. Let's restart the PC and see if the update of the BIOS was really successful. And it boots. We also see the new version information. Let's go into the BIOS and reapply the previous settings that I had before I updated. Next time you switch off the PC, make sure you reset the jumper on the motherboard. This prevents accidental flashing of the BIOS chip and viruses to damage your PC. Once done, save and reboot once more. Here we can see that the BIOS now correctly detects the 80GB hard drive. That's really great. We can get rid of easy drive now. It seems like the updated BIOS has changed the hardware configuration. Wait and let Windows reconfigure the hardware it finds. And now it is time to remove Easy Drive from the hard disk. We no longer require this tool, because the new BIOS is capable to initialize the 80GB hard disk by itself. Easy Drive is no longer starting before the operating system boots. The new BIOS version is also displayed in CPU C. And finally, let's check if the Y2K bug is now resolved as well. The tool is no longer complaining about the year 2000 bug. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.